Hi, this is Frederick from the channel Detroit Berlin. Today I've got another module and this time it's the Skull and Circuits Can I Kick It? It's the name of the module and it's not a regular name, it's a little bit different but the module itself is also a little bit different in that it is a kick but it is so much more than only a kick it's actually called a cross modulation percussion module and cross modulation means that it has multiple oscillators and they interact with each other you can modulate one oscillator to the other and back so you can get really nasty modulation Skull and Circuits, if you're not familiar with the brand, it is a Belgium brand. It's run by Johan from Skull and Circuits, a really nice person. He sent me this module, can I kick it? And I must say, I think this is my favorite kick module to date. I have a bunch of modules for percussion, for kicks, for stuff. I really think this one sounds amazing or can sound amazing. Also got the Trialog from Skull and Circuits, more on that in another episode. It's kind of an overdrive distortion, but it has three different bands, a high, a mid and a low, so you can distort a part of sound and it really matches nicely with the can I kick it if you add some distortion to a kick that most of the times you lose the low end it might become too much combine it with the trialog and you can only add the distortion in the mid or in the high frequencies and keep that low end you can also yeah volume match the different uh, bands so more on that later in another episode but i like to use it together with the can i kick it both brilliant modules um, let's maybe quickly really quickly go over the patch i made using the trigger matrix sequencer from duffer to trigger the can i kick it then I'm also using two low pass gates in self oscillation mode and I'm switching the function also by using the trigger matrix. Then I'm also triggering an elements for like more ambient background sound. Also triggering the one from tip top audio and yeah, can I kick it is providing the kick drum. What I'm also doing worth mentioning it's all going into the Moog matriarch and it passes through the low pass filter and I've got the keyboard it's not making any sound but it is pitch tracking the filter so when I press the low note it will go all the way down when I press the highest note it will go all the way up a little bit yeah modulation i can do on the fly and make it more like a performance let's go over the controls at the top you got the dk then you got the dk control voltage it's an attenuator for the incoming control voltage you have right here so you can control the dk via control voltage then you got the attack speed how quick the envelope is opening then you got two identical sections or they're almost identical you got oscillator a with each pitch control also controllable via control voltage then you got the attack and that means that the envelope is attacking the fall of the pitch so if you turn the attack up you get like a sound and if you turn it all the way down it is just the oscillator steady pitch that you will hear and when you turn it up like I said you have this falling pitch then you got the level which yeah is self-explanatory you can mix 
oscillator A and B. Turn it all the way down, it's not in the mix. Turn it all the way up, it is fully in the mix. And then you got oscillator B attenuation from the oscillator B incoming signal. So if you turn this up, you will actually modulate oscillator A with oscillator B. And then you got the shape of the waveform and it goes from triangle to sine to square. Then you got yeah, a little, little blinky light that if you trigger the module, then it will say, yes, you can. Which is, of course, an answer to the question, can I kick it? And pretty, pretty fun. Then you got section B, which is actually the same, but of course, the oscillator A modulation, you're taking oscillator A signal, and here is an attenuator. If you turn it all the way up, it will modulate oscillator B with the oscillator A signal. Then you got the trigger, the velocity, so the volume of the sound that's coming out, the decay CV, control voltage, so if you're feeding this like a random voltage and you open this one, then it will randomly have a longer or shorter decay. Really nice to have some modulation. Then you've got pitch control voltage A and pitch control voltage B, and then you got the output. One thing I will now mention, it's an amazing sounding module if you begin modulating, if you really tweak it, it is an amazing sounding kick module, especially combined with the Trialog, which is a three band distortion equalizer module, also from Skull and Circuits. What I would have really loved is more CV control over parameters, so you can CV control the waveforms, that would be amazing. One small gripe is also that it's compact, the font is really small, so if you don't have good eyes or if you're at a distance from the module it's a little bit difficult to see what's written on there, of course two same sections, you can remember it pretty easy, so that's not my biggest gripe, but one of the things that I would have loved, because I love bigger modules, was a little bit more wiggle room, because I have really small fingers and I can't really get my fingers between the knobs. If you take the knobs all the way at the end, you have of course wiggle room, but it is really compact and just my personal preference, I would have loved it a little bit bigger, a little bit more wiggle room, but then again, that's my opinion. I know there's plenty people out there that really look for small HP. This module is 12 HP wide, it packs a lot of punch in a small module, so for the most, this is a big plus. So let's go over some sounds. I'm not running it through the trialog. Let's first turn oscillator A all the way up. It's an okay sound. The oscillator itself, of course, it's not the best oscillator, I think, but you can do so many really nice things with it that I think it doesn't really matter. Got this clickiness.
Okay, let's bring in a Slayer 2. Let's take a control voltage to So then you get some more variation These are farty sounds. This is really nice. amazing sounds you can get out of this module it can sound pretty digital and really deep Let's maybe pause it and let's see how it performs when combined with the trialog and I think this is the real way to use the can I kick it. It is really nice on itself but if you combine it with a trialog it is total mayhem and if you want really bitey sound you can shape the can I kick it module in a whole other way really really nice really aggressive
flip back some punch. I think if you make electronic music and you really want a extreme kick and something that can sound nasty but really cool, I think this is an amazing module. Can I kick it? It has its quirks, but it also has an amazing sound you can get out of it if you tweak it just right. I think a little bit more wiggle room would be welcome, maybe if it was 14 or 16 HP and it was a little bit broader, the text would be a little bit bigger. It would be possible if the module was bigger. But then again, there are a lot of people who really like those smaller format modules. For that, it is an amazing module. If there is in the future, somewhere in the future, a version Two of this module I would love to have a little bit more control over the wave shapes, maybe over the modulation, the, the frequency cross modulation, maybe the attack, so another row would be nice. Otherwise I think this is already an amazing module and if you combine it with a trialog you have a device that you can really generate samples if you want it, it, it's a sound design heaven i would say 
in a sense that if you want to create percussive sounds that sound different and sound truly nasty and, and, and deep and, 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 and big, then the Can I Kick It module is highly regarded. Kudos to Skull and Circuits. They have a modest range of modules, but if they're all as good as the Can I Kick It and Trialog, etc., then it is advised that you go take a look there. Link in the description down below. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.